and uh, we're certainly pleased to have with us the men's soccer coach at Florida State, Jerry Cleary, with us now. We appreciate you joining us, and I think I've asked every coach at the beginning, uh, how you doing? How have you handled all this? Obviously, it's been uh, a little bit disappointing for everybody. Yeah, it's just been crazy, but everybody's going through the same thing. So, Your the men's soccer program, you have so many international uh, players on your squad. I would think this has kind of affected you maybe – differently than any of the other sports because you've got a lot of student athletes from, from foreign countries. I've had to add a little wrench to everything. Yeah, because we ended up not getting one, two, four players couldn't come because they weren't allowed to come. Mm -hmm. Most of them are in quarantine. They're still in quarantine. So that does make it a little bit more, more challenging. H how have you handled it with, with the student athletes that are here and the ones back on campus? Uh, obviously, the disappointment of not being able to, ha to, to have a season. H how do they handle the news and uh, maybe what your, your plans are going forward here this fall? I guess they're okay. We're just ready to start training. Um, we sent them a book during the summer um, called Chop Wood, Carry Water, which is about trust the process. So hopefully they all read that because they keep <laughs> quoting it. So that's always a good uh, a good sign. Uh, talk with Coach Brown and and, and Coach Atkins about uh, you know how they're going to approach practice with with no competition. Will this be more like an off season this fall once you're finally able to get back out there in the pitch and start working out again? Yeah, the big thing now is we just need to get on a schedule. So and, try not rush it. And and talking to Coach McCullough, I thought it was interesting uh, the mental side of it getting back with their team. Have you noticed a difference that had to, to help just seeing teammates and being able to, to do all this together physically when they're in the same room and on the same field? Yeah, and we have 16 freshmen. We ended up losing 19 players, so we have 16 freshmen. So they're all trying to figure out it's important <laughs> they find out their roles and stuff. So, In a strange way, with maybe some extra time, does that, that help with that situation with so many new guys once you're able to finally get back out there and practice a little bit? Yeah, well, they'll be all a year older, right? <laughs> some people that redshirt last year, they'll redshirt again. So we're going to have some 28-year-old seniors. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that, because obviously Fort A. State Soccer's had some tremendous success. And, and you had a great season a year ago. I know it ended a little bit earlier than, than you had ha planned on. Uh, but you lost a lot of talented players who won a lot of games for this program. Uh, the, the, the challenges ahead, that not only would just – with the, the pandemic, but what you're going to uh, face anyway with so many new kids trying to fill out roles and get back to where you've been. Yeah, as we said, we ended up losing. We graduated 10. We ended up losing 19 players, so that's a lot of people to lose. Um, but we just got to – this will help us, but freshmen need experience, and the best thing about freshmen is they become sophomores. <laughs> pretty excited about that class, though. I know just hearing you speak at some other places, I think you felt pretty good about them. Yeah, they're – we try not to recruit bad players, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess time will tell on that. We certainly know they're all going to be very good. Um, obviously, you don't the, – the unknown has to be a challenge, not knowing exactly when you're going to play next, when you're going to have competitive games, uh, and, and as a coach to keep everybody engaged and, and still get meaningful workouts. I'd imagine that's a, a kind of a, a challenging moment right now. Yeah, right now we just like to practice and we can mm -hmm. get that get them running around. And as I said, it's important to get them on a schedule. All right. Well, figure out what's going on from there. Very good coach. As always, we appreciate it. Hang in there. Best of luck to your team. We're looking forward to seeing you back out there at the stadium. We're soon playing games. Okay. Thank you.